It has been a while, but what's going on, guys? It is Average Player here. Um, sorry, it has been a lot going on in my life. Most of it has just been not in the right mind space kind of ordeal. Um, uh, I mean, at least I got the new Infinite Forbidden Exodia playmat. But I've been playing with this deck for a while. I thought, why not try to get back into some of the things after I have been away for such a while with my branded deck? And it has changed a lot. I actually just made changes to it literally a few days ago. Talked with my buddy Tim about it, trying to get his input and trying to see how the deck would do under certain situations and trying to fix some inconsistencies with it. So if you want to remain extra inside like normal, and the side's gone over some changes, the extra's gone over a few changes, the main has only gone over slight changes here and there. But we will see. First, we're going to start off with the Despia cards. Three Alibur. And Connie Cartesia is a Despia, Despia card because it's basically like one of the main cards. Um, Quem and Tragedy. Right? It's been a while since I've done this, and you can't, you can't tell. Um, this used to be a while ago. I don't remember. It's the last video or the video before. This used to be at two when I used to have either either two or three of these, but I cut it down to one. That's all you need. Um, yeah, Quem uh, definitely can be at two in this deck. Especially if you end up having to get rid of it. Having another one is very helpful with only playing one tragedy. But other than that, I think the ratios for those are right. On to the branded spells and traps. I think it's just spells. Let me double check. It's spells and traps. Okay. Three opening. Three fusion like a normal person. One high spirits. I know I think if I did the last video, I think I had two high spirits. But cutting it down to one has actually been better because when I've been opening this, I've been opening another card that doesn't go along with it. So, yeah. Uh, two red, one lost. And then Retribution. This is basically standard. I feel like red can be put to two, three, whatever. High Spirits can... If you're more comfortable playing High Spirits, I feel, I feel like it's a brick, so I put it down to one. If you're more comfortable with those ratios, play those. But this is it's basically what I have, what I'm playing, and what's good for me. All right, three Fallen Albaz, three Albion, one Kit, and one Mercurier. Um, I actually put this in not too long ago again. It actually comes up where you could special, place a card back in the bottom of your deck, and then add a card from deck, graveyard, or banish back to your hand. That's a branded spell or trap. So your opponent gets rid of one of them, or you, you end up banishing, say, Retribution or whatever. And you need to have a way to get cards back in your extra deck. Retribution is actually very good for that. Because it actually came up where I flipped Retribution, returned two cards that I needed back to my extra deck. Um, ended up banishing Retribution to get a a branded and red back. Special Summon Br um, Spriggan's Kit, bring Retribution back to my hand. To set it again, to use it again, to get, keep my extra deck going. And then Spriggan's Kit is very good at that. Mercurier, obviously, you need to have Mercurier. Um, I'm playing two Bistil cards. One Lubellion and one Serenier. This is normal standard for me. I feel like that's it. Sometimes Lubellion, it'll come up just to discard and get Serenier and then pop itself back out to get, you know, whatever. Serenier actually came up because my my last week that I played, uh, the Sunday, they're going into re renovation. So the week before that, I had summoned Promethean Princess from the Greater to my side of the field using one of the new cards that I have in my extra deck. Uh, tributed away with Serenier because he's trying to keep me Princess locked. And that almost caused him to lose the game, but I still ended up losing, got second. And then, fair and fun Yu-Gi-Oh. You got to if you're playing this deck. But I only play a couple hand traps, basically just Ash Blossom, Called By. That's it. That's all I have for those hand traps. I called, always count how Called By as a hand trap. Um, the rest of it is basically standard. Just other spell cards now. Three Fusion Deployment. Two Super Poly, I put that in since last time. Thrust has been here, and Gold Sark has been here. Uh, yeah, it's basically it for me. The, the Super Poly is our new, that's new additions to the extra deck. I'm going to go over the last card, so it's just one Fusion Duplication, which is very good for Fusion summoning on your opponent's turn. I've actually never seen the card, but I think it has part of to do with when I had the deck not too long ago when I was working on it. I think it was 44 cards, and now I think it's down to 42, which helps, helps the consistency just a little bit. Now we're going to go over extra deck. Most of this is going to be normal, so we'll try to fly through. Two Albion, one Lubellion, two Mirror Jade, one Masquerade, one Albion. I 
all this is normal. Now this is one that doesn't really come up, and I've never really seen anybody play this one much, but it's Prodespi and Proskedion. Uh, and if you combine it with Quertus, um, and Gangrenol, or sorry, if you combine it with Gangrenol, it works better. But Proskedion can be cheated out with Gangrenol, and then Target 1 Fusion, uh, XE, Synchro, Link Monster, Opponent's Graveyard, Banish it, or Special Summon it. To your field, and it's card destroys points by a battle, inflict damage to point because that original attack or defense, whichever is higher. So basically, it's a good way to just beat over something. You deal damage to their life points with the attack damage, and then you deal effect damage to them, which comes up really good. Um, and if you Quartus, so you Quartus make it zero, so you're dealing 32, and then you're dealing whatever damage it has to other attack. So this, these are good combo cards, and Gangrenol is good with it. Uh, we got Ryan Brum here too, because, you know, this actually comes up quite a bit where you use Ryan Brum to negate something. And bounce, or use Ryan Grum's graveyard effect to banish it. Someone fallen Albaz and fusion some, for something. Um, Garura and Mud Dragon. This is actually pretty, you know, normal. Uh, Drago Chimera. Technically, Drago is count super poly target. I don't count it because I can make this normally. I can technically make these normally, but it's way harder for me to make normally than Protoplan Drago's Palia. So, yeah. That Proscanian, I feel like, is a good addition to the deck. It actually comes up quite a bit. Yeah, I'm trying to get my deck back in order, because it has to be in a certain order for me. And now to go on with the side deck. Uh, some of it has changed, some of it has not. I have found my third Nibiru, finally. So, yeah, three Nib, MBT special. Um, three Talent. Two Lightning Storm, one Duster. I put these in because I figured it was, it still comes up. It's pretty decent. Um, one brightest blazing, and then if you've been new on my channel, three solemn judgment. But yeah, that's basically it for the deck profile. I try to keep it short for you guys because I haven't been here for a while. Um, the video should be coming out more and more as time goes on. I'm gonna try to figure out what's wrong with my sprites and give that to you guys as well. Uh, other than that, that's it. Um, let me zoom out as much as I can. Yeah, it's new Infinite Forbidden Playmat, as you can tell. I love this thing. It's awesome. But anyway, have a good day, everybody.